that's it. And they're racing away from the 1,000 meter marker. King Harry got a bit of an awkward start, lost about a length. Jack Frost on the left hand side in the orange cap began well. Brechart is in the light blue colors. Then comes Kinshin Shah, who's towards the outside in the orange with the black stars and San Simons between runners, the red sleeves and striped cap. Then comes Fast Track, and behind those is Babylon. And King Harry's made up a little bit of ground now that's got the pink cap on between runners. And Fast Track has dropped out of it. Goes towards the back end of the field now with 400 meters to go Kin Shin Sha on the stand side is the leader in second is San Simon down the inside is Jack Frost further back is King Harry and then comes Babylon it's Kin Shin Sha the leader down the inside is San Simon and further back is Babylon with 150 to go Kin Shin Sha shot about two three lengths clear from Babylon it's taken a while but he's finally got it right Kin Shin Sha's won it second place to San Simon Babylon third and fourth to Brechart Kin Shin Sha, the leader on the stand side in the orange colors. That's with about 300 meters to go. He picked it up and kept on finding. San Simon tried to challenge. Then was King Harry, Babylon, Brechart. They all ran on. But it's Kin Shin Sha towards the outside that has done it right. For trainer Lucky Hudalakis and jockey Craig Zaki, numbers 2, 6, 3 and 4. That's race 1 from the Val. Kinshin Shah, which translates to close relative, has won race number one at long last. Blinkers work a charm. Craig Zaki on board, 1,000 metres. Lucky Hudalakis, David Shaw, the uh, A-team here. Uh, well done, Craig. Uh, first question, how's the track out there? Oh, it's really good. This classic track's been in phenomenal condition from the beginning of winter. And now going into spring, it's, it's really a tough track. And it's going good. It is running a bit quick today, but... Um, it's turning green nicely and it should be a good day's racing. That's rare for this time of year. Normally, I mean, and to be fair, we do have brutal winters, no rain for months, hot conditions this time of year. And guys, I mean, we can see to the eye that it looks scratchy, but that, that's good positive news. Yeah, it's definitely positive. And it's just amazing. They've had two little sprinkles, but once those rains come, you, you can just see all over the, uh, the province, the grass really st starts to turn for the better. What worked more, 1,000 metres or blinkers? Oh, I don't know, 14. but uh, I must give credit to Lucky and his team. You know, I read him last time. I had cover. I was, I wasn't travelling well. He moved up and then he went one pace, and um, I heard he was he was going to get the snap. And I thought after that maybe we try 40 mile. I think he's he'll be better over those chips. And uh, Lucky and his team proved me wrong. They bring him back in trip, put the blinkers there, and I must say he. He gave a very good feel over this trip. Well, that's all good news. Do you still think he needs to be gold? I'll ask Lucky the same question. No, I don't know. Um, I thought he, he came here quite good today. He, he had a nice, calm demeanour and he did everything right. Um, but I'll leave that to David and Lucky to discuss. But for me, um, whether he gets a cut or not, um, he's going to progress. Um, your rest of your day, the first time we're in the next race, I think Lucky's probably more equipped to, uh, to answer that. And a fraud and rose for Trippy, what are you expecting? Yeah, I don't know much about the one in the next. Lucky will give you some update on her. But Fraud, oh, he's, he's game. You know, he enjoys the vault course and he's got a lot weight. We know he stays all day, so I'm on his best for me as a shot, but he's never really far off, so he must be considered. Race for Chippy, I thought she ran a really good race last night. I do feel like, um, I think it's Gavin's or Cliffhanger, has a bit of off for that last run with the weight, but she's game and I think it's her third run for the stable, so she should be while and ready. Good start. Thanks, Ali. Just a big thanks to Lucky and his team once again, to David on course, and to my sponsors, Moritz Fintin and Vokobosjev. Thanks. Well done, Craig Zaki, the winning jockey. Here's Lucky Hudalakis. Um, first bit of business, who won golf on Friday? Me. Where's the money? They didn't, they didn't settle. They pulled a move on me. He pulled a move on me on the last hour. Well, a, a lib and a good guy like David Shaw. Yeah, I know. They pulled a move on me. All my hard work was untangled in... How uh, long does it take to eat a shot? One second. Yeah. So, yeah, I wasn't happy about that. But, yeah, even at the golf, he, he tried to throw me under the bus. So when this was in last time, I still mentioned to him, I said, what about putting him in a thousand, slap a pair of blinkers on, we'll try that maybe before we cut him. And he agreed. 
And then on Friday, he had to go. He turns around and he throws me under the bus. He says, I never said anything about a thousand. This horse must go 14. Now, Take a bit of credit now. Well, now I'm under pressure. Right? The horse gets rolled in a thousand and I was going to say, but didn't we tell you to go 14? So, um, yeah, but anyway, look, <laughs> in all seriousness, I still feel he, I think he needs to be cut because... I just think his temperament needs to change. You know, he's, he, he comes here, it's like he's got eyes like on, on stalks and he shouldn't by now, you know. And even at home, he has his moments, you know. He can go nice for a week, then he starts behaving like a cold, then he chills. So, and um, look, like I said, we're not going to get overly excited. I mean, it's all due respect to the other guys. I mean, it wasn't the greatest field. But he did. You, know, you can only win and he won convincingly. So, yeah, look... Um, still discuss it with Dave. Well done to him. Um, plus he bred him. And yeah, my, my personal opinion, I, I think let's not get ahead of ourselves. Stick to the plan. Maybe cut him, let him come here with a better attitude. And yeah, hopefully he'll give even more. With horses like this that you don't have, that you know we're near the bottom of, does that give you hope for the future? I mean, it's obviously frustrating, but by the same time, you know that there's something there that you just got to figure out. And and how much more digging do you have to do? Did today answer a lot of questions? Though? Yeah, look, it did. Um, look, to, to be um, truthfully honest, I mean, when he ran first time out, I mean, he, he was just sort of run of the mill horse he ran to, so we can see where we were with him. His next start, I actually didn't didn't expect him to get to run second and get beat a short head. You know, I, I thought you'd run a better race. So, and then from there the pressure was on him, and obviously he found one the next time, and then the next time when it looked like a blind, they found another one, and yeah, so he, he had a style of execution, and so we thought, you know, if you don't try, you'll never know. So we brought him back, put the blinkers on. I was a bit worried that the blinkers weren't going to hype him up even more, but he. He behaved nicely and, yeah, and he won a good race. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'll, we'll dis discuss it more. You know, with Dave also, he, he, he's like the weather. He can he changes on and off, yeah. And just quickly the first time around the next? Um, yeah, she's a tiny little filly. She's actually done well. I think a thousand will find her out. But um, another one, we're running it to see where, where, where we are with her. 5,000 rand coming from Betway for trainer Lucky Hudalakis. Thanks so much to Lucky for those words. And he's also got a catalogue for uh, the middle of the month. And thanks to Betway. Well done indeed. Five grand going to Lucky. And it's also the uh, start of the extended stakes as well. That's red, not orange. It's red. You're correct. Um, but it's red because we lost that golf. and uh, You're raging. You know, we keep losing at golf. So there's only one thing that's going to be cut. Who's we? It's you, Zaki Hudalakis. Who, uh, I, was, I, I got called up. Well, we got a three ball uh, in the end. Um, but what I don't understand is Lucky always wins, yet his handicap doesn't come down. So there's only one thing that needs to be cut here, and that is handicap. That is the handicap police on to him? Um, you know what, we're on to him, but uh, he just keeps saying, I'll put my score, but I don't think he does. Anyway, about this horse, how relieved are you? Um, well, I'm not sure we're going to cut him now. As I say, only one thing to be cut, and that's Lucky's uh, handicap. Um, yeah, very relieved. I must say, uh, Craig <laughs> said at golf, he said, no, this... I said go further, now you bring the little shorter. So that just blew me, totally blew my confidence because I thought, okay, well, it's the jockey saying that. But, uh, yeah, I have to say uh, that was uh, more impressive than I expected. And uh, well done to Lucky and the team. Uh, well done to Mr. Lang. He also, uh, we chatted after the last race, and he also suggested going short and putting the blinkers on. So in that discussion with Lucky, that's what we did. So, yeah, well done. Well done. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Uh, appreciate it. And then to Betway, thank you, because maybe you'll get lucky off my case now, but thank you. And also to the ROA, 15,000 rand. ROA. Thanks, ROA. Thank you. And I suppose the other thing is stakes have gone up, so maybe that's why we had the winner now instead of last week or two weeks ago. Well, shrewder than you think. Thank you. Thanks, well, well done, Lucky. Well done to uh, David Shaw. Well done, Craig Zanke as well. Kinchin Shaw wins bread by David Shaw. So uh, what a lovely start to the increased stakes this season. They're coming into the ring for race two. It's the start of today's PA.